hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today today's video my first official video i'm gonna be telling you guys how i solemnly got my interview at hollister and got the job the same day tips and tricks so that you can get your job at hollister just stay tuned so to begin this video <clears throat> i found out hollister was hiring by my my friend tier tier thomas She had, she told me about the job. Well, I mean, she told me about the job when I asked her about Hollister, cause like she was um, <clears throat> she was like she had a little badge for Hollister, and I was like, wait, Hollister hiring? And she was like, yeah. She sent me the link. She told me what to do. I filled it out, and she was like, the next day, call, um, and ask when you could schedule for an interview. So the next day comes. Wait, I did this around like eight or nine. I don't remember. And she No, I called in the next day and I got my interview on Tuesday. I think they do them like I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. They they do it on one of them days at four o'clock. They do it for all interviews. But um the interview process went like, you know, I was happy about it. Like I was so excited. You know, this wasn't my first interview. But you know, I was still excited because I applied at Kroger didn't get the job like y'all wasted my time and y'all time like i told my friend about the job because you know she been looking for a job too so you know i wanted somebody just in case i didn't get you know hours i mean shifts with my friend i could have with my other friend so i told her about it on wait mind you i did this like on thursday not last thursday last last thursday yeah i called in so she i told her about it on friday and she, no fr yeah i told her about it on friday she was on call in no she did it saturday and i said call tomorrow but i i told her like don't call tomorrow because it was closed i was like just call monday so she called monday she got the job so now we just you know excited like this was our first one too like you know we ain't seen each other in like wait two and a half years one and a half i forgot but like we ain't seen each other in a while so this was our first link like your first link is an interview but uh yeah next day come she was there before me so you know i was just waiting i was getting ready and stuff like that then i finally get up there um we went to hollister we went we went a little too early like we just letting them know like you know we here for our um the interview and stuff like that he was like wait till four o'clock so we we was like okay so we just waited outside like, I don't know if it's all Hollister's that's like this, but all Hollister, they have, like, two chairs. Like, the entrance right here, and there's two chairs that you can sit on. Like, say, if your friend is just going in there to um, shop around, and you don't want to go in there, like, you got a headache, you could just sit down. So, we were just waiting right there, and we were just going over our interview questions. Oh, shout out to my friend Mimi, because she helped me. Like, I was practicing. I practiced nonstop, and I remember half my stuff. So, we look at the time, like, we, we, were, like, we kept looking at the time, then we forgot it. It was 401. Luckily, it wasn't that big of a deal. We went in there, and he had us. It was another woman in there. He had us type our um stuff in, like our email, and we had to fill out like four questions. Don't ask in a comment about them questions. I forgot. Like, there's temple questions. I think one it was like if you're on your family's on EBT or something like that, um, or if you had any work experience and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, stuff like that. So after I was last to um do it. It was an old woman. She was like, I think she was 42. She had some work experience. So, you know, I felt like she was gonna get the job too. Um, I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna get the job. You know, I was nervous. So he told us to come with him. And as we were walking, he was like, um, tell me about yourself. And I was just telling him, you know, I like photography and stuff like that. Um, 16, favorite color black, like just simple stuff. And he asked what school I went to. And I was like, I'm not gonna say it because y'all not playing. But, um, <clears throat> so we just sitting down and he just asked, started asking us questions. Um, if I can remember the questions, I'm gonna just say the question. I'm gonna just say the question. Um, they might not be in order, but I'm pretty sure you should expect this because it's like the most updated one. Um, one was, why did you pick Hollister? Um, two was, like these are, he just asked simple questions at first. Why did you pick Hollister and stuff like that? Dang, 
I wish I remembered the questions. I was like, I've been putting this video off so much that the questions kind of just, you know. Oh, uh, well, that's like one of the main ones. Why did you pick Hollister? I feel if you don't talk about Hollister, like, um, what I said was, you know, um, it's very chill and laid back. Um, it's always clean and organized. The atmosphere is like dark and moody which is what I feel customers love about Hollister besides the clothes. And I feel like he really liked my answers because, you know, I was talking about Hollister and stuff like that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like if you talk about Hollister, like, you know a bit about Hollister, that you can actually get the job. Um, <clears throat> another question was, um, how would you help a customer pick out jeans? Um, this question is real simple. Just be like, um, you know, because Hollister has, like, a variety of pants and stuff like that. Um, say you ask the customer if they want skinny, extreme skinny, super skinny, etc. Ask them if they're looking for a specific color. Do they want cut rips or not? And yeah, just, you know. So I feel like he liked that answer too. My friend has some good answers too. Like her answers probably was better than mine because I was stuttering. Um, if I remember like most of the, some more questions, I'll just put them in the description. And I'll put like my answers. Um, that same day, me and my friend was just walking around. And we get, we were just, we went to like every store. I bought something from Route 21. Hang on. This one breaker, $12. But then we decided to go to Forever 21. Um, we just picked out some stuff and was trying everything on. And when we was finna go, that's when I got an email saying, congratulations on your um, interview. And then I got another link for like a background check. My friend, we was just waiting to um see if she got the job too. You know, I called my mom and I told her. Like, I was acting like I was bummed out and stuff like that. Like, I did that with everybody. Like, I was just so, so happy that, you know, I finally, like, was able to get a job for, like, my first job. Um, She didn't get the job. But, like, she, her answers was good. Like, when she, when she was typing her stuff in behind that counter, I was like, hold up. I had to... You, you're not here for that interview. You, you work here. Like, she just, you know, had that, like, her look just make it seem like she works at a specific place. Like, you could, she could get behind. I forgot where I left off on because my camera just, my thing just, my phone just stopped recording. But, yeah, um, after I submitted my, my, um, put my social security number, it's going to ask for your social security number. And I think your email, and you're just going to type that in on your phone. Um, and then send it back to them. <clears throat> and then with me, a couple hours later, that's when I got an email saying, congratulations, welcome to the team. And I was so happy, like, you know, first job, like, you you can't go wrong with your first job. And stuff like that. But, um... Boo! I was told that I was supposed to, um, you know, oh, my outfit, I just wore a polo shirt, like, it was a v-neck polo shirt, like, if you're a guy, they want you to wear, like, v-necks, because it helps, or, and I wore some black, um, Hollister jeans, and my, um, black and white vans, my black and white checker vans, but yeah, just, like, don't, you know, do business attire, like, don't dress all out, like, they want you to dress like yourself, but, like, don't wear don't like if you're wearing something like polo like with me that was my mistake my polo sign was showing he was like um you can't wear like other brands ralph lauren and stuff like that he was like but other than that the v-neck looks straight and i was like all right um oh that same day me uh, uh, me and my friend we went back and she asked if she could like reapply and you know have another interview you have to wait three months to um in order to do so um and I was like, thank you for, you know, giving me this opportunity and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> I called yesterday because, you know, I applied Tuesday, got the job Tuesday. And it's been like days. So I'm like, like my email, it was telling me that. um, My email was telling me that um, I would get like a call. Um, a call saying when I'll start working and stuff like that. So I was like, all right. I'm, I was waiting on that call, and then my friend told me I was supposed to just walk in. I'm like, 
Didn't nobody tell me that though. I was just like, all right. So yesterday I called in after I got back from the doctors and then I asked her and I was supposed to come in Tuesday, but you know, I don't have any form of identification like of my face. So I'm getting my, I'm getting my permit today in the afternoon. And if I don't can't get my permit, cause you know, I don't got my glasses and I heard they make you take an eye exam. And if you don't pass the eye exam, you can't take your permit. You is ugly. Say hey to my to my my channel. I look it. You sure do. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? Yeah. And if you don't pass the eye exam, you can't take your permit. So I might just have to get my identification card, which you don't have to take no eye exam for. Like I I really just need something so I can start working. I was supposed to start working today, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to no identification card no permit no school id because my school is really unorganized they don't hand you your ids no more you got to get it yourself and i didn't even know that because mine wasn't even on She told me that I have to come in Thursday at 10 a.m. That's when they open. 10 a.m. They open the store. So I have to go in there early. So I guess I'm going to be working that same day. But um, honestly, be yourself. Don't stress too much. Like I did. I was kind of nervous. I was stuttering, stumbling over my words. And I somehow got the job. Um, <clears throat> make sure if you do apply that you have somebody that I can put in a good word for you. Like talk to their manager. I mean their boss or manager or whatever about you. Um, so, you know, you can get the job easier. Um, I'll, the day, like, when I start working, um, I'll tell you guys, like, when I get back home, how the, um, how it went and stuff like that. So you guys would know what to expect. Because that same day I got my, um, I start working, it's the same day I have my orientation. But, um, if you guys have any questions, like, if you need help with anything, your answer and stuff like that, um, feel free to either comment down below or you can text me on Instagram. Don't text me on Snapchat because I don't open my snaps and I'm never on Snapchat. That's why I was like so hesitant about putting it in my intro and at the um in my outro. But um yeah, if you have any questions about how like you can, you know, do good at your interview without feeling nervous, just like you know, text me on Instagram. Um it'll be it's in my intro and it's in the um description. And also it's gonna be at the in my outro. But uh yeah that That feel good, don't it? I'm putting it on my arm so it feels like them junks. Stink. They smell like them um castor peels, whatever them junks is. <laughs> but um, oh yeah. By the way, that's my brother. I know I look older, but he the oldest. He um seventeen. Gonna be grown next year. Gonna <laughs> graduate. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Um, on Instagram or comment down below and I will try to get back to you as fast as I possibly can Um, Yeah, so yo. Oh, if y'all know I go by Sully. I, don't, I really don't go by Solomon Um, Yeah, I go by Sully, but you know, I just named the channel Solomon so my name could be like, you know more known Oh, yeah, if you guys wonder where I got this hat from I got it at zoomies Um, This shirt. I don't know But yeah, that's that's all uh Enjoy the rest of your day, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm insert this in um the um video, but um another question was, what was one of your greatest um accomplishments, and how did you accomplish it? Yeah.